Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think this is a funny article, and it's funny because uh, Adolf is fighting in Ukraine. Yes, 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 you heard me. Adolf, yes, Adolf. And he's, um, he's fighting on the Ukrainian side. Oh my God, that's not good, isn't it? Well, people would have expected Adolf to be friends with Putin somehow, because you know why, right? Not with Azov Battalion and all those guys that were uh, um, accused of uh, being uh, <clears throat> Adolf's buddies. So, let's see what's going on here. This is a serious article. For me, it's just funny, for various reasons I can't disclose. But <laughs> anyway, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. So this article comes from Russia Today from April 21st, 2022. Uh, sorry, 2023, God damn it. Uh, uh, Reuters interviews soldier, and I'm quoting, Adolf, in Ukraine. A member of Kiev's armed forces has apparently named himself after the dictator. Well, uh, well that guy was not the only Adolf, but uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and he they said that right here, that should be Adolf here. Because it says here, a Ukrainian soldier with a call sign Adolf, right here, Adolf, serviceman, trains near Kharkov, which is Kharkiv for the Ukrainians, in April 2023. I don't know if that's Adolf, Adolf, I don't know, you guys know Kirillix, I don't uh, read Kirillix, but if he's Adolf, he's Adolf. Uh, remember, it was uh, Adolf, um, what uh, was his name, that uh, Adolf... Um, one of the German Luftwaffe as the general, fantastic one, Adolf uh, Galand. Galand, Galand, let me show you the guy. Uh, you can find uh, a few videos with him interviewed. And not only, he, he was an ace, ace, ace of base. <laughs> all right, so let's see, let's find that guy, all right? And voila, my friends, here he is, Adolf. Galand. He was French by origin, by the way, as far as I remember. He was born on March 19th, 1912. He died February 9th, 1996 at 83. So, um, yeah, he was a German Luftwaffe general and a flying ace. He uh, was credited with one of four aerial victories on the West Front, which were, was harder than uh, all, of, all of them against the Western Allies. A lot of people uh, did more than 104, but uh, they did it against the Soviets, which was much, much easier. Anyway, uh, watch some interviews with this guy and uh, um, just uh, for your own uh, um, knowledge, not to praise him or anything like that, just to, to see how he thinks or how he thought. Okay, but in those interviews, younger, older, and very interesting. I watched a lot of them because I thought uh, the guy was uh, uh, had a lot of things to say. So, let's move uh, to the original article that we started with. I think this is the one right here with Adolf. So it was not Adolf Hitler, it was this one, for instance, that I know, at least, uh, not that way. So, international news agency Reuters has published an interview with a Ukrainian recruit con codenamed Adolf. The footage is the latest in a long line of videos, photos, and stories linking Kiev forces with... No, I don't know if that's necessarily correct. I don't think if you... But I know that if you call your name, you, you call your son here, Adolf, he has a state, I don't think they'll let you do that. So I think it's not uh, too far-fetched to uh, agree with what these guys say here. All right, but anyway, in a... Post to Twitter on Friday, Reuters described how newly recruited servicemen for the Spartan Storm Brigade were practicing at an undisclosed location in Kharkov region. A serviceman with a nom de guerre, Adolf, said that he had been trained in first aid tactics and firing drills, the agency added. In an accommodating Accompanying video, Adolf spoke to Reuters about the drills. A caption identified him by his apparently Nazi influencer moniker, a title that was also visible on the patch on his vest. Now, you guys uh, be the uh, be the judge. It says here, Reuters from uh, Twitter, newly recruited servicemen for the Spartan Storm Brigade, Stormtroopers, 
practice target firing and battlefield first aid in an undisclosed lo disclosed location in Ukraine's Kharkiv region. A serviceman with the name de guerre Adolf, <laughs> you can make shit up, said they had been trained in first aid tactics and firing drills. This is the guy. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, what, what was that? What was it again? <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> Wrong location, man. We're gonna have. Here's Adolf. Вот, намагаємось, працюємо, стріляємо, перемагаємо ворога. Now I don't speak Ukrainian. But uh, to me, that was the guy in the picture. Anyway, this is my friends, the Adolf. I and here they're gonna make in the rest of this is they're trying to make a connection between the Storm Brigade, the Spartan Brigade, Adolf name with uh, uh, Ukrainian being uh, or some Ukrainian being uh, Nazi sympathizers and all that. Uh, I don't know if uh, there is, is a governmental uh, push for that or not, or maybe just individuals. Are there, ju just to start with this, it doesn't mean that if Joseph Stalin was a big criminal, you should ban the name Joseph. The same, I am against banning, I don't know, let's say, um, um, what's his name? Um, I always have a problem remembering that weasel's name. The former US president who dropped two atomic bombs, killed uh, at least 200,000 people instantly and about 300,000 after that. What's his name? Um, let me remember his name. And it's, I always forget that guy's name and I have it in my eyes right here. It's a, uh, a weasel, man. It's a weasel. Let me find him. God damn it. Harry Truman. So that means we should ban Harry as a name because he dropped two atomic bombs and killed uh, civilians in just like this, in one instance. I mean, something that I think other people uh, of that caliber would be, uh, you know, envious or jealous, not envious, jealous of his, uh, I would call it a crime. I, I don't think how you would call it, but how, how would you call that? Dropped on civilian, in a town, in a city. You can give me whatever you want to give me, okay? So should we ban Harry? Why not? We should ban Joseph, we should ban Adolf. You know, but this is too much for uh, idiots to, uh, to uh, you know, understand. And not only, I mean, if you take it like this, you're gonna ban Wi uh, William, Bill, or uh, the uh, Yugoslavia attack bombardment, or I don't know, what's his name, George from George Bush, from invasion of, uh, and of, uh, uh, Iraq? Are you gonna do that? Or, I don't know, the bombardment of uh, Libya? Barack? Well, Barack, Barack. Or um, Hillary? You know, that's, and there's many candidates, many candidates who did a lot of hanky-panky, you know what I mean? So, uh, I don't know, so if that guy choose Adolf, obviously, uh, I don't know if he has in mind, uh, I don't know, Adolf, uh, what Adolf? How did he pick that? But. On the other hand, I don't know if that's that's acceptable for in their uh, military. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it. The fact is that that guy called himself Adolf. He was uh, portrayed by by Reuters unbelievably, unbelievably. Why? Because if that would have been a Russian with Adolf, I guarantee you that Reuters would have had a different take on that. All right? I 100% certain. But hey, that's my... Uh, um, you know, assessment of this, and I think, uh, but anyway, that's his, uh, I think, his right to name himself however he wants, and that's your right to like it or not. Does it mean you have to infringe his rights? No. No. That's freedom of expression. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, my friends, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.